I'm trying to think of a time when a woman goes after her dreams and her character is not questioned, when her motivation is not questioned. I had heard about a dream and her challenge of being the first Nepalese woman to climb Everest. It's hard to imagine how many barriers she had to overcome. She was an ethnic minority, she was a woman. I'm sure she was rightfully outraged for not being allowed to go to the top of Everest. So it is natural for her to show the rest of the world, say, listen, I can do this myself. And in a male-dominated society, she spoke to the hearts of many women at the time who had no courage to do what she was doing. <laughs> Instead of just sitting and being patronized, she's actually talking back and letting the Prime Minister know what she thinks. I don't think Hassan was very involved politically before that. But after 1990, everything that anyone did in Nepal had to be thought about in political terms. <laughs> Climbing Everest is a physical and mental marathon. As a Sherpa, that's how we live, working as a guide. Hwasang Lamu spoke of herself as representing the Sherpa community, but also uh, representing Nepali women. That must have turned some people's world upside down. I think my mom was so ahead of her time. The day she went for a summit, all of a sudden the weather was changing. 